Hello everyone, I'm James Allen and welcome along to a spatial tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add audio files into Sam Broadcaster. Music is probably the most popular reason to create your own radio station. So, before we get started, let's add some music into Sam. There are a couple of ways of doing this. First, click on the plus sign in the tracks window and select add files. It will take you to this file browser where you can select the media files you want to add. The other way is just to open Windows Explorer and drag and drop files into the tracks window like this. So let's have a look around. The window just on top of tracks is called playlist. It controls what appears in the tracks window below. If you click on content, you'll see all the different audio categories. Sam comes installed with some examples of sound effects, which you can see right here in the sound effects window. When you place new tracks into Sam, it can categorize your content for you based on what those tracks have in common. Let's go back to one of the songs I added earlier. If you right click on the song, you can select song info. Sam can fill in most of the blanks here, but just to have fun with this, let's change a feature about this song. I'll go to type and look at the drop down menu. This track is already categorized as a normal song, so it's going to end up in the music category. I'm gonna change this and mark it as an interview. And because Sam knows that this is part of an album, I'm going to click the apply to whole album button and click okay to accept the changes. Then click okay when it tells you it's been applied and now let's close down the song info window. Now let's go back to the playlist window and click on content. Let's scroll down to interviews, then click on interviews all, and there are my files. Now let's take a look at how you can create your own music playlists. To do this, we'll go into the music category under content. Just like interviews, when you click on music all, you'll see all the music files that Sam imported. With a big library, this could make it difficult to find what you're looking for. So it's a good idea to create your own playlists to help you organize the media files. It'll also help you schedule your music automatically if you plan on going hands-free, but that's for later. So to organize your music, add a folder by going to the music category here, right click and select new. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call this one 1985, and it's going to hold all of my songs from that year for use on my 80s radio show. Let's select the new folder. Now, I'm going to add an entire directory by clicking on the plus sign and selecting add directory. Let's find the 1985 folder on my system and select it. There are my songs for that year. I can now right click on the tracks list, select sort and choose from various sort options such as title, artist or album. At this point, it's a good idea to set up your encoders and stats relays, so don't miss our videos on that. I'm James Allen and I'll see you all in the next spatial tutorial.